there, Diet Disruptors. Carrie here, coming from my new kitchen. I just like totally obsessed with my kitchen and being able to do podcasts from here. This is also the set. If you're watching me, now some of you may be on the podcast listening, but if you're watching me, uh, this is also our set for our daily television show. So if you haven't tuned into our daily TV show, it's called the NIL House Nutrition. I co-host this with celebrity nutritionist Mark McDonald every single day. Where can you see our TV show? Well, if you ever go to the airport, put airport in the comments if you're watching this live or if you're watching this on replay or listening on replay, put an airport. Because you know, like in the days when you were in the airport and you saw CNN and all the TVs? Well, these days, you will see something called Brinks TV on all the airports. And our show is part of the Brinks TV lineup. It is an offshoot of the NIL House, which is an unbelievable sports show with John, um, John Brinkus and Rob Vaca. John Brinkus, you may know him as a sports science guy from ESPN. And so they have this really popular show, the NIL House. And they came to us, Mark McDonald and I, and said, we want you to do a daily show on nutrition, teaching people the concepts that you teach daily. And so I love that. And so when I moved into our new house and I got to design my kitchen, I was like, this is going to be the background. So if you are in the airport and you're seeing the show at all, or go to brinks.tv, get the app if you have a Roku or a smart TV, you can get Brinks on any of those channels as well. But I just find going and getting the app, you actually watch for free. So it's not like Netflix that you have to pay for it. You can actually just download the app and you can watch the NIL House Nutrition every single day. And you'll recognize the background. So when I do my podcast, uh, I really like to be able to sometimes use the same same setup that I do for the show because it's all here the the sound and their cameras and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm doing that from here today. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different podcast than what I normally do because I am in the middle of preparing for something right now. And so it's, you know, fall 2023. So if you're listening to this at any other time, this might not um, be timely for you. This is going to be a very timely podcast because I'm preparing something right now that I've only done once before. And I want to share with you what I'm doing and also why I'm doing it. Because here's the thing. I began disruptive nutrition as a real effort to re-educate not just everyone, like people, but mostly women. Like I am passionate that women see their value as something beyond that number on the scale. When we talk to women on calls, which is what our, our preferred way of connecting with you is, we help them look at their goals a little differently. Because every single woman is like, I, my number one goal is to lose weight. And then they say, lose weight uh, and then get healthy is somewhere in there. Usually number two or number three get it's it's often lose weight, feel better or have more energy um, and get healthier. And I always wonder why it's like, why is that the order? Why is it that if we lose weight, we think then we're getting healthy or why is getting healthy like a lower number on the the goals? And it's really interesting because when we really push their thinking and we say, why do you want to lose weight? I hear one of two things. One is, really because I just want to feel better in my skin. I want to have more confidence. I want to look better. Why? And also recognizing that there are plenty of larger people that have confidence and plenty of smaller people that have no confidence. So the size that you are does not actually dictate your confidence. And I would ask you if you've ever, you know, been that goal weight that you wish you were now, were you dieting at that point when you were like maybe in your twenties and you weighed the amount then that you wish you had like now, right? Were you dieting back then? So when people say that to me, I, I think a lot about you're doing it for other people. <laughs> you're trying to lose weight so other people can see you and look at you and decide that you are then valuable. And then I hear people that say, well, you know, it's not really about the weight, it's about health. 
And I, okay, I can wrap my head around that. But then I think, why do we always go with weight loss then? Why is that the thing that we think is going to get us healthy? Because there are plenty of skinny, unhealthy people out there. And when we think about weight loss, we go down this rabbit hole because diets will always promise weight loss, but they also perseverate this dieting mentality that we have to change our body to be valuable. Now, I know because of the thousands of people that I work with, because of, I mean, our show gets 2 million views a day. Like I know people want to learn this information and figure things out and people are confused. And I know that when you get to your optimal health, you're going to get to your optimal weight. It's a byproduct of a healthy body. Weight gain is a symptom of health and hormones. So if you're gaining weight, doing things that are unhealthy is never going to allow you to lose weight. It's only going to make you unhealthier. Your body actually stores fat and holds onto it when you're not healthy. A healthy body will release fat. Now you might wonder, well, why is it that when I did diets before, I could lose weight? Well, this is where the education is so powerful. When you're younger and your metabolism is faster or you haven't done that many diets, your set point is lower and your metabolism is faster. So you will lose fat, but not where you want to lose it. You'll lose fat in your muscles and places that's really important to have fat, but you'll get right down to your set point and then you're not going to be able to lose it anymore by deprivation. And as a result, your body gets unhealthier you're slowing down your metabolism, you're throwing your hormones all out of whack and your body is now going, whoa, what's going on here? And it has to put it in, in like low power mode, okay? And so every time you do a new diet and you fall off, you get back on because your body can't handle that level of restriction, you keep getting your body actually slower and slower and slower, unhealthier, unhealthier, unhealthier. So by, diets worked exactly the way that they were supposed to work. It's just that you had a faster metabolism by then and you were speeding up the age train and slowing down your metabolism very quickly with every diet that you did. Okay. So that to me was when I learned all of this over 10 years ago, it blew my mind. And as I've evolved in my teaching and my thinking, what I've realized, if you open your eyes, you will see diet culture everywhere. It's impossible to fight it. Everywhere we go, we see that like the idea of healthy, actually we mean skinny right? We see the idea in magazines and TV and social media that what we look like matters more than anything else. And we have to undo diet culture. I've learned this more and more and more as I've been coaching women, because what I have realized is I could sh share with you how to eat. But when we are just completely inundated with diet culture and the, the idea that we have to change our body in order to be happy or healthy, we're really digging into almost like abusive territory. It's where we never feel confident, even if we get to a certain size, because we're so consumed with what other people think or what we're trying to achieve as a perfect look. And so throughout the last decade, I mean, the amount of women that we have coached and the amount that we have evolved into really educating women how to transform their lives by thinking differently about their lives and about their why, it has just turned into such an incredible movement, which I'm so proud to be able to have an entire team that is as passionate as I am about this. So as I'm planning this special thing that I rarely do, it's because it's, it, it hit me. I think it hit me back in like January. When we work with women, I really want to work with women fully, comprehensively, wrap my arms around them so that they truly have their last first date with any nutritional approach. Because we got to undo a lot of stuff, right? We got to undo the concept of dieting. We got to unteach why restriction is so problematic. We've got to help them think about their thinking. We have to manage our time. We have to understand how we can serve others while still serving ourselves. We have to recognize that our body's love language is blood sugar stabilization. And then we've got to be able to figure out how we can do it for ourselves. Whew. That is no small feat. It's why your doctor in 10 minute intervals, when he sees you or she sees you, is never going to be able to teach you all of that. But I also know that we do not, cannot bring into our collective client family as many people as 
maybe we would we would love to because essentially we are a relatively small team and we go all in so it was never my intention to build this big scalable company it was always my intention to have this boutique availability to be able to truly transform women who are really ready so that being said we literally only bring in maybe 10 people a month and there's a lot of you out there a lot of you that are listening and following. And so while my podcasts, I think are helpful and great, I want to be able to give everybody more. And I know that I cannot bring everybody in to work with us. So last February, I did something that I had never done before because I'm a former educator. I love teaching. And when I think about my podcast, I try to keep them to 30 minutes and there's never enough time to be able to go over all the things I want to go over. So last February, I did a three-hour workshop. It was the first time I had ever done anything like that. Now, keep in mind, as an international educator, as a consultant, I did trainings on stage with leaders all the time. As a nutritionist, I will I'll be asked to speak at events, and I will go and do that, and I love, love, love that. But as a virtual company, and especially because I try to do like these 30-minute podcasts, I never can get your attention to really teach what I know you need to hear, all the layers of what goes into truly transforming your life, living with food freedom. So back in February, I tried this thing and I did a three hour workshop. And I mean, I prepared for weeks for it. And it turned out to be one of the most impactful days of my life because we had so many women on that weren't working with us as clients, but were really interested in what our approach was, wanted to really understand the blueprint and more importantly, how to execute it. And so that's what I did. There was no rock unturned. I shared everything and the the impact was really incredible. And so it took a lot out of me and I'm running two businesses. I have a television show. We, I have a family, two kids. It's like, People keep asking, when are you going to do a workshop again? And I have just been like, I I don't have the capacity to do it. But my team and I got together in July and we said, we have to do another workshop. The, 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 the impact was so great. And that is what my goal is, right? To educate as many people as possible. And this I can do on a little bit of a larger scale, even though I will say when I do a workshop, I absolutely want to limit it to a certain amount of people because I want everybody able to ask questions to be able to engage if they want to. So while it is still going to be limited, it's not going to be like 10 people, right? So I am offering another workshop. And so it's going to be three hours on October 7th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I am going to teach my butt off. My husband always jokes that I try to fit 10 pounds of you-know-what in a five-pound bag, and I'm going to do that for you here. So for truly less than what a pair of shoes cost at Target, I am going to take a deep breath and really prepare myself to be able to give you as much value as I possibly can. And if anything is left unclear, if you have any questions, you will have a chance to ask me literally anything you want. And so I want you to think about registering for this workshop. And if you did go to my workshop in in, Tuesday, in um, uh, February, uh, I want you to still register for this one. It's going to be new content, new resources, and I can't wait to be able to dig in. So this podcast is a little bit different because I just wanted you to hear my heart, what it is that I do, why I do it, why we limit the amount of people that we work with but also hear my heart in that I want to impact as many people as possible. Again, why I have this television show, but also that television show goes out to so many people and I don't get to get feedback in the moment. I don't, people can't ask me questions when we do the show. When I do the podcast, it's the same thing, right? I'm teaching, you're listening. It's not interactive. We are all about relationships here. And once you come into that workshop, I'm going to know who you are and I'm going to check in with you. In fact, I care so deeply about each and every one of you who shows up. Now, you might not be available on October 7th. And if you are not, I still want you to register because I will then, you will be able to register and then choose to be able to get the recording. But you got to promise me you're going to watch it because 
I always joke, like I can order a bunch of stuff on Amazon and it can be on my front step the next day. But if I don't actually open it up, I won't remember what I ordered and I won't benefit from it. So you can have this workshop and you can have it in recording and you're going to actually have a whole learning portal with tons of bonus resources that you're going to have lifetime access to if you get the recording, but you got to promise to watch it. We're going to record it in bits so you can watch it at different times. So it's not going to be three hours all at once. And those people that actually went to the workshop in February, they many of them said they rewatched it multiple times because they had so much information. You're going to get a workbook. You're going to be able to take notes. It is something that I have multiple team members on my team working on to give you as much value as possible. So I want you to go ahead right now. We're going to cut this podcast a little bit short and go register right now for the workshop. Get the recording, which you'll have the option to do after you register. And join me October 7th for a really amazing Saturday retreat of self-care, self-love, and learning how to truly speak your body's love language. Not because you're so frustrated with your body, because you're, you're angry with how it's performing, but because you love yourself so much that you want to be able to be synergistic with it. You want to be able to have a better relationship with it. And you want to be able to have a high quality of life for a really, really long time. You will get all of that out of it and more. Just got to show up. You got to register and then you got to show up. And again, if you are already know you can't be there that time, then I want you to still register, get the recording and then promise that you're going to watch it. All right, you guys, thank you. I cannot wait. And again, I don't know when I'm going to do this again because it takes so much energy, but I'm doing it this month and I can't wait to see you there. Let me know in the comments, are you joining us or not? Let's go.